What's up friends? I've decided to make a quick video showing you how to use the time-lapse function on Sony cameras. So if you have a Sony camera and you purchase the time-lapse app, I'm not sure what it costs. I think it's about $10, ish somewhere around there if it's still that much. I think someone came out with like an illegal free version to get on your cameras. I personally have not used that. I don't know if it's more simple. It looks like it's a more simple stripped version of it. I didn't even know about it at the time that I got my camera. I don't even think it was out then. So I was the one, I was one of the people that actually purchased the Sony time-lapse app. I personally think the app is a little bit laggy. It takes really long to navigate through that app. And I've been, I use it pretty much almost daily lately because I've been doing a lot of time lapses. But nonetheless, this app is extremely useful and really important. Obviously, if you're shooting time lapses and you don't have an intervalometer and you want to just shoot it with your Sony camera on the fly. So I am going to show you how I use it on location. All right, guys, so I just set up my composition. I'm going to be picking the time lapse app which takes an annoyingly long amount of time to open. So I typically set all my settings for exposure and photos in the manual uh, mode. And then I generally pick custom. And then I tweak the settings from there. So white balance I already set. Focus I am gonna set, but I'm, you wanna keep that on manual so it's not changing. So I'm gonna hit menu. And today I'm going to be taking JPGs rather than uh, in RAW. So these are my settings for everything else. Creative style I'm not going to touch. I think, let me see. I'm going to use neutral, actually, which I already tweaked in the past. I'm going to use neutral, that creative style. So I'm going to go back to menu, which is kind of irritating to do this every time. So that's my settings for the rest of it. And then I'm going to go back to application settings. So I'm gonna make sure it's only taking pictures. My interval I'm going to do, I'm gonna do four seconds and my highest amount of shots. Not gonna turn on the tracking because that's gonna change the exposure and make it flicker a lot. So yeah, the, this is pretty much the app. It's kind of annoying. So to set focus, I usually use the focus magnifier and pick exactly where. Right there, it looks perfect. It's really difficult to set, set focus for time lapses. So for this, I'm doing one second long exposures because I'm shooting clouds. ISO 100 and uh, my f-stop is at eight because that's pretty sharp for my lens. And then uh, let's see the final result. That's about it guys. I hope that you can now make some killer time lapses with that Sony app. And I really hope you got something out of this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe because I have a ton more coming in the near future. So be sure to stay tuned. And thank you so much for watching. And if you have any questions, leave it in the comments section down below. And take care guys.